In today's video, not only am I going to share with you how you can water glass your eggs at home successfully, but I'm also going to show you what eggs that have been water glassed for one year look like. Right here in this cabinet is a five gallon bucket filled with my own farm fresh eggs from one year ago. Twelve months ago, I filled this bucket up, I put the lid on, I water glassed them with the water glassing method that I'll share with you later, and I haven't opened it since until today with you. So you're going to see the results right with me. We're also going to do some testing with these water glass eggs. I'm going to go out to my hen box and collect some eggs that were just laid today so it doesn't get any fresher than that. And we're going to compare it with these eggs that have been water glassed for 12 months. We're going to break them open and test their quality, their smell, their texture, how they cook, and how they taste. So if there's any bad surprises, we're going to find out together. Then in part two of this video, I'm going to give you step-by-step -step guidelines on how you can water glass your farm fresh eggs at home. I'll tell you exactly the measurements you're going to need, the materials you're going to need, as well as some tips on what not to do so that you can have successfully water glass eggs the first time. So if that sounds good to you, stick around because we're going to get into it. First, welcome to my channel, Clean Food Living, and if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button in the bottom corner there of your screen, and without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so I'm going to put my bowl here so I can extract the eggs. But first off, what I'm gonna, what I notice here, is like this film top of the hydrated lime, which is used to water glass the eggs. How it smells is it smells musty. It doesn't smell moldy. It does not smell offensive or spoiled or rotten, but just musty. And I'm just gonna kind of poke at this. Oh, look at that! It's kind of a hard. Um, it's not hard hard, but it's a little crustier than I was expecting. It's almost like a really thin layer of ice on top, except it's not cold. I'm just gonna go ahead and just scrape this off so I can get to the eggs and we'll see how it looks down below. Look at that, the eggs look perfect. The water's actually pretty clear and it's because the hydrated lime has settled to the bottom. Um, I'm going to use, I'm going to use my tongs first to pull one out. There it is. Looks perfect, doesn't it? How they feel is they don't feel weak and brittle. That was one thing I was wondering is if the shell would feel kind of weak and delicate, but it doesn't. It feels just like it did when I put it in a year ago. I'm just going to keep pulling eggs out. For the testing, I'm just going to start with these eggs because this is all we need. And I've got multiple colors here. I've got the green, some white, some light brown, and some darker brown. One of my girls is laying here. She'll probably leave. Yeah. But don't worry, she'll be back later. These eggs can't get fresher than this though, can they? All right, I'm back inside now and this is my bowl of the water glass eggs. And this is the bowl of the eggs you saw me just collect. So let's get into our testing. First, I'm gonna start with one of the water glass eggs. There is a very thin coating of that hydrated lime on the eggshell, but we don't eat the eggshell, so that's not a problem. Are we ready to crack these open and see inside? You bet, I'm super excited. Here we go. Okay, it seems to be really watery, and as you just saw, the yolk just broke instantaneously. I'm gonna give it a smell here. Excuse me as I pull it up to my nose. And there's no odor at all, so it doesn't smell rotten or anything. It's actually just neutral. Then here is the egg that you just saw me collect outside. I'm actually curious if all the yolks are going to break, so I'm going to bring in another bowl here and keep cracking them open because I'm just curious. I want to see if that's the norm. Okay, now see that one held together? 
And let's compare these two. Now this one, this yoke is really nice and tight and firm and as you can see, this is a little wider, darker. The white part seems to be cloudier as well. I'm gonna do another one. Now this one broke open because it kind of stuck to the inside here. But let's take this over to the stove and see how each of them cooks up. I've got two non-stick pans here and I'm gonna turn the burners on to the same heat, medium high, and let's add the eggs. In this pan, I'm gonna do the last of the water glass egg that I pulled out. And this broke because, again, it, it seems to like stick to the inside of the shell, which is why it breaks. And then over here, I'm gonna crack open the egg that I just collected. I don't know if you knew this or not, but one of the signs of a really fresh egg is how runny the white is. So the fresher the egg, the less runny the white will be, and the older the egg, the more runny the white will be. And I think this is a perfect example. Now old doesn't mean bad or spoiled, it just is obviously a level of freshness. And since this egg's yolk has broken and this one hasn't, I'm just going to break it so that they cook a little bit more similarly. I didn't put any extra oil or anything in the pan, so the sticky is not the egg's fault, it's the pan's fault. Flip that over. Eh, it would be kind of like a scrambled egg. Flip this guy over. And I also just want to note, you know, if you're baking with the egg, with the water glass eggs, or cooking with them, it really doesn't matter if the yolk breaks or not. Really, you know, only if you're doing, you know, some fried eggs that you want sunny side up would that be a problem. But again, if you're making omelet or a quiche or any kind of a scramble, the broken yolk will not be a problem. Okay, here we go. We've got our two eggs. We've got the water glass egg and the fresh egg from today. Let's give it a taste test and see how it goes. Smells like a regular fried egg. It tastes good. <laughs> I'm actually surprised at how good it tastes. Um, I didn't think it was going to be necessarily bad, but I didn't think that a one-year-old egg that's been water glassed in a bucket for 12 months would actually taste this good. So let me just compare it though to the super fresh egg. Okay, hands down, the fresh egg wins. <laughs> so the difference though is this does have more flavor. This doesn't have a bad flavor whatsoever, but it's almost like a neutral flavor. It has less of an intensity. Maybe if you're used to store-bought eggs, it would taste the same as a store-bought egg, but if you've had fresh eggs from hens from country living, you know how good those eggs taste, right? So this egg has that wonderful fresh egg flavor. This does not, it's more neutral. This has more texture and body to it. There's like a, a fluff to it, and that makes sense. This one cooked kind of flat as a pancake. This one has a lot more texture and meatiness to it, you know? However, with that said, even though this of course wins because it's fresh, I would eat this egg in an avocado toast scramble. Delicious, I'd eat this egg in an omelet. I would not hesitate to eat the water glass egg that's been in a bucket for 12 months in hydrated lime. So there you have it. There's the water glass egg, the whole test, and what do you think? Leave me a comment below of your thoughts. So let's move on to part two of this video where I'll give you step-by-step -step guidelines on how you can water glass your eggs at home successfully just like I have. Let's start off part two with what exactly is water glassing? So water glassing is a historical method of preserving eggs. It's only been the last 100 years or so that we've had electricity, refrigeration and such to store our eggs in. But before electricity, what did they do? Well, if you're familiar with farm fresh eggs, you know that if you don't wash them, the antimicrobial coating on the eggshell will allow the eggs to sit on the counter for anywhere from four to six weeks and not spoil. You can't do that with a store-bought egg, at least in America because the eggs have been washed by the food industry. And when they wash the eggs like this to clean them, 
What it does is it removes the antimicrobial coating on the eggshell that actually seals the pores of the eggshell and prevents bacteria from being able to pass into the egg. So in historical times all the way back to ancient times, if they weren't going to be using their eggs within those few weeks after picking them from their hen boxes, they water glass their eggs. At least that was one of the popular methods used. So what's the magic ingredient in water glassing? The magic ingredient is hydrated lime. This is what it looks like here, and it's just a white powder. It's non-toxic, it's all natural, and what it's made from is like either bones or limestone or eggshells. And they grind it up really fine, and then they cook it or burn it in a very special kiln oven and then it's rehydrated. That's why it's called hydrated lime. So, where do you get your hydrated lime? You can get it from the hardware store. I ended up getting mine from True Value Hardware. You can also check just your local hardware store. You can check Ace, or if you have any kind of a country feed store if you live rurally. Now, hydrated lime is not the same as the ground lime sold in the gardening department that you amend to your soil. Hydrated lime is usually found somewhere in like the masonry section because masons use hydrated lime somewhere, somehow. I'm not a mason, I'm not sure. But that's why you can find it in hardware stores. They'll sell it to you in a 50 pound bag. That is enough hydrated lime to water glass your eggs for the rest of your life. However, it's only around $14. It's the same hydrated lime that you can get as a pickling lime. So if you're a big pickler and you buy those little packets of the pickling lime, same thing, except that little packet costs a lot more than the cost when you buy it in a 50 pound bag. Thankfully with this method, you don't need special equipment. All you need is either a glass jar or a bucket made from food grade plastic. Make sure that it is food grade if you are using any kind of a plastic container. Do not use metal. Metal and lime do not get along. They don't play nice. It's really hard to find a five gallon glass jar. I don't even know if they use them. So here I have is a one gallon and then here is a quart size. I think once you get up to your larger sizes, you will need to seek out a food grade plastic bucket. I ordered mine off of the Home Depot website. You can also get them off of Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below of a five gallon food grade plastic bucket off of Amazon. So the eggs that you want to use for the water glassing are the farm fresh eggs that have not been washed. Now if you do not produce your own eggs with your chickens and you buy them from let's say your neighbor or the farmer down the street, be sure to ask them, are these eggs washed? If they say yes, then you cannot water glass them. And if they say no and they're fresh, make sure that they're not, you know, a week old or anything, but with just within the last day or two, then you can use those eggs. But let's dive into actually how we water glass the eggs and add everything. What you want to do is you want to add your hydrated lime to the water in the container that you're going to use. The quantity or the ratio that you want to use is one ounce of hydrated lime to one quart of fresh water. If you're on any kind of city water, chemicals have been added to it such as chlorine. That will not work with water glassing. It has to be pure water. So if you're on city water, go to the store, buy some spring water or some distilled water. If you're on a country well like I am and you know your water's good and clean, then you can go ahead and use that. That's what I've got here in this jar and that's what I used in the five gallon bucket that you saw me test the water glass eggs in for one year. All went well. You need to weigh out your hydrated lime and it needs to be ounce by weight and not ounce by volume. So if you have a little scale, that'll be perfect. Go ahead and just set the tear first for your container so you don't accidentally include that weight in with the hydrated lime. And then just start adding some hydrated lime until you've got your one ounce weight. Now you can see here I'm a little bit over, but that's not a problem. So I'm gonna show you two ways you can add your hydrated lime. I'm just gonna pour it in, this is my one ounce, and mix it up. And you can see it's nice and milky cloudy. That's exactly what you wanna see. If you have a spoon, you can use that as well to help just mix it up. And then you're gonna just take your eggs and place it in. Don't drop them in, place them in. And you can't really see because it's all milky. 
but you just keep adding eggs and let's say you only had let's say three or four that you wanted to add that's fine this can just continue to be added to the five gallon container that I showed you earlier where I had all those egg stores was not just from one or two days that was actually an accumulation of a few weeks and you can just keep adding your eggs on top of one another building it up once your container is to the level of fullness that you're comfortable with then just put the lid on and you want it to be airtight so it does not need to be loose or anything like that also be really careful when you move the jar around don't slosh your eggs around because you want to prevent any cracking the cracking will allow the hydrated lime into the egg and that's not what you want if that hydrated lime water gets into the egg through the crack or because the egg is washed then you've got something that tastes terrible and you do not want to eat it you're not supposed to eat hydrated lime give them a nice inspection make sure not only that there's no cracks but that there's no little poop pieces on your eggs you want them absolutely clean without washing them underwater. Here's an example of what can go wrong if you miss a crack on an egg and it goes into the water glass jar. You see that yellow color? That yellow color is from the yolk that came out of this crack right here in the egg. Now obviously when I put the egg into the jar, the egg was not that severely cracked. So I actually don't know when the crack happened. Did I put it in with it already cracked? Or did the jar get jostled? Or did I put the eggs in on top too hard and it cracked the egg below? I don't know. But what I do know is it made a terrible mess and that actually that yellow color didn't appear for a couple months. So there must have been that crack in there and it just took time for it to get worse and then break open. This is why it's important to be very careful with the eggs. So what do you do if your egg level comes up above the water line and you need to add more hydrated lime and more water? You can do this second method instead. So method two is adding your measured out hydrated lime to your measured out water in a cup like this. Give it a nice stir so that the hydrated lime doesn't just settle at the bottom like it wants to. And once you've got it nicely mixed and you already have your eggs gently placed in your container, then you can just pour it over. Pour it over until the eggs are completely covered, just like so. And you'll see here, see how the hydrated lime is like snowing? It's falling down to the bottom of the jar here, collecting a little bit on the eggs and at the bottom. That is perfectly fine. As you saw with the five gallon container, that water was clear when we opened it, minus that crust on the top. But once I cleared the crust away, the water was clear because the hydrated lime had settled to the bottom after the water met its saturation point. So don't be concerned about that. Just get your measurements correct. You know, if you're not really sure about this water glassing thing, do just a quart jar just like this. Test it out, see how it goes. Let it sit for two or three months and give it a whirl. Let's review the highlight points. Use only farm fresh eggs that are unwashed. Use farm fresh eggs that are only one to two days old. Use eggs that are clean with no poo or little pieces of straw on them. And also inspect them for any kinds of hairline cracks. For storage, you want to use only glass or food grade plastic. Do not use metal. Use hydrated lime. It's usually in the masonry department of a hardware store, and if your hardware store doesn't carry it, ask them if they can place a special order. Do not use the gardening lime. It's not the same thing. The proportions that you want to use to water and hydrated lime is one ounce of hydrated lime by weight, not by volume, to one quart of fresh pure water. Don't use city water if that's your situation. You want to buy spring water or distilled water. For storage, be sure to place the lid on securely to the storage container that you're using. Keep the eggs out of sunlight and out of the way, like in a cupboard or in a closet. Storing in normal room temperature is fine but you just don't want to store them someplace that's going to be too cold, like below 45 degrees, and the eggs are in risk of freezing, and not too warm, like anything over 80 degrees. Also store where the temperature will be consistent and not swinging from one extreme to another, kind of like a garage where it's super cold in there in the winter and really hot in there in the summer. 
It's also a good idea to place a label on the container of the date of your first eggs you put in the water glass solution and the last eggs that you put in. So there you go. There's the time old method of water glassing eggs. If you want to check out some more of my videos such as how to grow wheatgrass on your kitchen counter super easy and quick, you can see that video right here. I've also got some other videos down here you can check out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you be a part of my channel. Until next time, au revoir.